Hello everyone and welcome back to Dust and Legion Tale. We are headed down into the village for the starting quest and uh, we have a rather powerful fidget because I decided to invest in my first um, my first few points in fucking fidget. I think one of the bad guys dropped something over here. Yes. And these are breakable. Nice. Treasure chest key. Two treasure chest keys. Gorgeous. That's really good. I might at some point have to up the difficulty class of this, because uh, that was rather easy. Not quite sure what I bashed my sword against there, but if I carried... As you get bonus experience for hit combo, surely you'd go for the lower, lower attack damage just to get a higher hit combo, as long as you can win fights. Especially as it seems to drop fruit, and the amount of experience you get seems to be quite high when you get up to a, a high enough level. I wonder if I can fast travel later, fast travel back there. Dang it. A little bit slow on the turnaround there. They're all dead. We've got some paint apparently. Ooh, a new ability acquired. Aerial Dust Storm. Oh, cool. I can kind of do an air dash now, but an extra air dash. I wonder if I can do that after dashing. So if I do that and then that. Yeah, I can do both. Cool. And level up to knock people back. So let's see, uh, let's go with 100 extra health. Hopefully then healing shrines will heal me up for a little bit more and I will... God damn it. do this. Up. Up. Key. She, ah, right, so the keys count as treasure as well. Okay. So there's another treasure around here, and it is right here. Y, A, B, X. Some gold, some berries, and a little bit of crafting material, I think. Powerful ally. Something explosive should do the trick. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? <laughs> a little tiny person sized tent. Glowing <laughs> evil eyes of evil. Okay. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Just surprised. At the uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. Oh, I picked up a warp pendant. Once a fine keepsake, time has distorted this pendant. Two attack and two luck. That's okay. Like, I assume luck is uh, positive. I've been expecting you, stranger. Oh my god, it's Charmander. <laughs> I had that or it's Gek Deep Cover Gecko. Shall we conduct business? 
So he's got infinite of some basic food items. He's got warped pendants, filthy pendants, and simple pendants, attack, defense, and luck. Attack, defense, and luck. He's got an eggshell, which gives plus one attack. Sandpaper, which gives plus two, and dull whetstones, which give plus six. He's got some basic defense bonus items. Might be worth getting a cotton vest for plus four defense. And he's got a dull ring, which gives plus one defense. Yeah, go on, why not? Teleport stone, a single use stone that teleports the user to a save monument on the world map. Okay, and he has treasure keys for sale. And then we have some crafting material. If I switch to sell mode, what have I got to sell? Oh, I actually have one of those already. Oh, um, right, that was a... Well, I'll keep it. I might be worth crafting a bit later. And I have a lot of crafting materials. Uh, before you, you leave, might I, might I propose, propose an offer? offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold. You are not prepared uh, for the journey, journey ahead. ahead. I have a cannot some assistance. Can offer assistance. Okay. Please accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am <laughs> here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. This land deems sand to be of a great, great value. I'll, I'll collect sand and sell it to you for a fortune. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, he'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Okay, so the first of each material I sell him, he will buy for a high price. Okay, so... Let's switch over to sell mode and let's switch to materials. So I'm assuming these are the ones he knows. So let's sell him some scrap metal. First one sold for 25. They all sell for 25. I thought he said he would buy them for a high price the first time round, but okay. Impaclaw, lovely. The materials you sold will be quite useful. You stock them as time goes on. Also share my stock with other merchants. Without help, you will save, save valuable time collecting rare materials. Okay, so always sell him stuff because then we save time, basically. So, uh, that's the one I wanted. So, inventory. So we have a cotton vest. If we find, let's view that, these items, then uh, we can have a blacksmith make us a light chain chest. We don't have any augments for the sword. We do have a dull ring. We only have one. Okay, so we have two ring slots. We have a slot for an augment for our sword. Ooh, 116 XP acquired. And I can float. with me, little bomb. I already know what you're going to be for. Yep. Chicken and a treasure chest key. So we've got lots of treasure chest keys now. So there was on the first map there was a treasure chest. So we can go back and fetch that when we want really. And we need another one. And there's another treasure chest key behind there. Okay cool. So there is going to be more of them. That's not too bad. Um, we can't really aff well. We could afford to get a. Um, oh wow, yeah. So he has paid me a bonus because that's well more than I earned previously. Actually selling the items. So we could buy a teleport key, go back to an earlier save shrine, but hopefully uh, we won't have to.
so apparently uh, these things explode when you hit enemies with them. So that's cool. Oh, this one's got a timer on it. Well, that's one way to deal with the enemies. <laughs> Just blow them up with a blinking bomb. Cool. And there is a bit down here, which I'm assuming was supposed to be a secret, but a little bit obvious. But then, first level, so... What the... Bloody Shoggoth Demon! A really nasty Shoggoth Demon as well. But we did blow it up with a bomb. Which is good. There's something in that cave. Oh, locks. I'll take a wild guess and say we need. Whoa, okay, so this is gonna cost me four keys to unlock the cage. Wow, that's a lot of keys. How many keys have I collected so far? Four, of course. Okay then. I have let out a friend rescued plus five percent health. I have let out um, Super Meat Boy apparently. Visit your friend in the sanctuary. So lots of mysterious wall chicken. We can't get under there because we don't have the dash ability. So I spent all four. As this one doesn't have a timer, I'm going to take this one with me. On the presumption that I'm going to need one up here anyway. And worst case scenario, I can drop it on somebody. Like that. So, I've already ramped up my character quite significantly. I like the rain effect. That's very neat. Very good looking effect. Gus, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. back. Why do I get a feeling he's going to fail miserably? Alright, I've got it. Wait, no! Slide down. Yeah, I thought so. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough So, threat. she can fly, but she's not just going to go up there and check what it is to see if it's worthwhile. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Introducing Metroidvania elements. Wow! Okay. Okay, this thing is really dangerous. <laughs> wow! That thing is nasty! That thing is really nasty. Oh dear, I'm assuming this indicates that this area is safe. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a or not. <laughs> ahead of you. <laughs> this place is obviously not safe, then. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> oh, I've already fought two of these guys. It's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Okay. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counter attack. Okay. I'm assuming that increases my damage. And you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, 
A successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Oh god, yes, that makes him very, very vulnerable. Was that the powerful beast ahead? I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. They have a weird girlfriend pet thing. I would appreciate that. Thanks. They do have a weird kind of like romance interest pet thing going on. Oh, hello. You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Yeah, but you do get weird Shoggoth demons. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, it's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. Right, because random strangers with swords are great. Let's get going. Well, I suppose in a world like Elysian where there are heroes. What's she supposed to be? Is she supposed to be a mouse? Oh no, she's got a she's got a puffball tail like a rabbit, but she's got little ears? Is she supposed to be Ferret? No, ferrets have long tails. I'm confused. I'm confused as to what she's supposed to be. Ooh, healing point. Okay, it appears to heal me up to halfway. And I'm guessing boss fight. Oh no. Rabbits! Actual rabbits. Please help us. Okay. Don't worry. I think I can handle it. I don't. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Okay, I had no idea how to fight this guy, but apparently being a coward and just doing this works really, really well. Although I'm going red, which I assume means it's going to damage me in a second if I keep using my uh, special power like that. Wow! Okay! <laughs> Wait, what? I want to see how much experience this gives me. I'm assuming it's not going to let me see because it's going to kick me back out again, but... Ah! Oh. oh, I'm supposed to parry them. I didn't think I'd be able to parry something that large. But I can apparently parry something that large quite easily. So I got a level up out of it. <laughs> okay, that was quite the chain combo that I didn't expect I was going to get. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah! They weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, you know if I had to. And Dust was there. Gee, that's, that woman's voice would have done better with the previous older looking woman. We here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. But you know there's giants around here. Why build your village here? The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived, and that's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. 
Let us continue onward. Onward. Can't you be all right? <laughs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. No, By spamming buttons. Bringing justice to the weak. That's 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 how I took down the giants by spamming buttons. Who are you calling weak? I'm sorry. Did I take your rope away? Okay, so we can get ourselves another what? 130, 130 HP roughly. Another four attack. We can get ourselves ten defense. Increases damage taken from enemies and hazards. Or we can get ourselves a serious upgrade to um, fidget. Why don't we go with? Um, as you get bonus experience from hitting them more often, I really don't want to go with the um, I really don't want to go with the bonus to attack because it just seems like as long as I'm killing things, I want to hit things more often. So although it slows the game down, it would be better for me to have them um, sort of survive. Aurora Village. Seems quite peaceful. So, if we can find a save point, hopefully, we will call it here. Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I wisely suspicious person is wisely suspicious, but is being portrayed as being mean about it. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend, Calum, here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been no, I agree with Calum. It's suspicious. The endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Okay. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Cora. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation! To find, find uh, ore deposits, deposits. in the mountains. You know, you know gold. You know, silver. Um, manganite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. As you should, you're an isolated village and a guy with a sword just turned up. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Prospectors, Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. Okay, with the exploration of the village back to start. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey... Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm, like before, the calm storm. before a storm. Finally then. So, um, with this being the end of that particular conversation and with us entering the village, I think what we'll do is we'll stop here and we'll come back in the next episode. I will see you all in the next video. I've been the Gaming Droid. Blah, blah, blah. That was a messed up ending. Goodbye. <laughs>